<laughs> oh, we'll talk about that in a second. Hey, welcome to another episode of It Resolves. My name is Kevin. My name is Will. Um, what so, a great greeting. For those of you wondering what just, we're laughing just, at, yeah. um, we have the random card pulled up, uh, which is magiccards.info. And basically, we just refresh the page. But you the card that is card. pulled up at the moment is the cheese stands alone. Uh, it's from Unclued. God, that's so great. If you don't know what that card is, you should look it look it up or yeah. do something. Maybe I, Alex I, will put it on our little drop down, which is here, here, one of the sides. I think it's it's one of, my your side. It's right here. Here. Don't make me a liar, Alex. <laughs> Maybe it's over there. <laughs> Maybe perhaps this way. <laughs> Yeah, oh. the cheese stands alone. What a greeting to a man. A I fine... wish that was our actual random card because that's so much better than so many of the other ones that we've seen. I it's want actually leaves of this know, art. But, yeah. <laughs> Just um, good lord, guys. Uh, welcome. Thanks for tuning in, uh, listening, and watching this uh, frivolity. Uh, wherever you're doing it, how you're doing it on podcast, on SoundCloud, on YouTube. Yeah, that's all the places. That's uh, it. Yeah, and as always, you can find our links. Get in contact down below. Yep. Uh, if I sound a little funny, I had acting class today, and I'm losing my voice. How was that? <clears throat> um, we acted our, our little hearts out. <laughs> it's good. Ha! <laughs> Here's my heart, acting gods. Oh. Hello. All right. Oh, good. I'm glad acting. <sighs> yes. Acting class went well. Yeah, it's it's great. Good times. Yeah. Um, so, guys, we've got a very fun episode for you today. A lot of news has been going down. Yeah. If you've been keeping up with everything. This might be a frustrating episode for some folks. It might be. It might be a bit polarizing. Um, if it is, good. Comment your polarized opinions. Yeah, drama. Um, so, first thing we're going to be talking about, obviously, our card of the day, but then we're going to go into Magic Arena. Uh, which was recently spoiled a little bit. We got some first look into it. Uh, we're really excited about it. And or did so we, we get spoiled with a brand new game? Maybe. Um, <laughs> uh, the other thing we wanted to talk about, I know Ixalan's been going on. We're going to not talk about that. We're going to talk not about yet. Iconic Masters. Not yet. Um, We've got plans for Ixalan. And, yes. And they don't belong here. No. Uh, this is all the offshoot stuff. Magic Arena, yeah. Iconic Masters, yeah. his shirt. Um... <laughs> I had to throw it in and I didn't want to forget, uh, so I did it at the yeah. beginning. I didn't plan to wear the shirt and then I realized that I I came here wearing this shirt and had no other shirts. I could have given you the It Resolve shirt to wear, but uh, I feel like because you forgot it. <laughs> I can't let that happen. Uh, no, um so no. uh we also have our question of the week and then obviously our crack and packs at the end. Right. To kick us off. Let's go into our random card of the day. See what we get in Bye, three, geez. two, one. Hmm. All right. <clears throat> Celestial Purge. So one in a white for an instant remove target black or red permanent from the game. This was Exile. Yeah. Before it was exactly. Exile. Uh, it was originally printed in Conflux. It's been reprinted in a few core set or magic big core sets, I guess, mm, since sure. then. I wonder um, if it ever changed. I don't think so. I think the art for it has always Not been the, name, the same. But yeah, there we go. I was um, going to see if it ever said exile and it did oh oh i see um yeah so great sideboard card right um, like yeah absolutely. in limited i mean it's perfect for yeah, sideboards i think so um, um you won't really see it in constructed sideboards mm -hmm. because it's too restricting if you want this effect like it's legal in modern so all right we've got path uh path is just way better yeah it's everything of um and the difference between this and path obviously is that it's any permanent mm -hmm. which is important but right, like it's not relevant enough to to take over the the slots of path to oh, exile right like it's Sorry. just not it's not by any means saying. like better than path to exile no just um, because it hits technically lands if you want it to yeah i mean well no it doesn't no it doesn't Those they're colors, not colored actually darn get with it hey I acting corrected, school's done you i corrected get myself <laughs> we got there um, uh no it doesn't it does hit i mean it hits enchantments it hits Honestly, Other though, stuff, you put I don't it in know. The like, how many do you put in? Like, I mean, you don't want to pick more than two of these in a draft. No, god no. Like it's one blood moon, and you're good. Like, Takes yeah, I mean, it does moon. hit blood moon. I did watch LSV draft uh, a white green modern masters 2015 uh, deck. Oh, then you'd probably. And he actually did have one of these in the sideboard, and it turned out to be really, really great. He faced a 
black red deck and so it's perfect in that instance but again it's sideboard only you really don't want to mainboard this because it can 100 percent just be a dead card <laughs> yeah like it's just not worth it so good on the sideboard end of things in a limited environment other than that right. i mean cool sideboard tech that's it yeah i mean they they shouldn't really print a card at two instant speed and says exile target permanent that's insane that is so really good the that'd be that'd be crazy yeah. so it the color restriction makes sense mm -hmm. makes sense flavor wise red and black are whites no no color um so <laughs> yeah i mean i like it cool card i do too i really don't have anything bad to say about it it's just no. kind of it knows its place and it's never center stage yeah sorry celestial purge we love you anyway it's just got awkward <laughs> all right let's go into magic arena um what is it you want to i'd love to yeah uh what I feel is like magic you have arena? really strong opinions on this <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah i do i <laughs> frequent twitch a lot so i, I watch a lot of games on there uh yeah. notice a, a, a similarity <laughs> what is magic arena it is have you ever played hearthstone you know, funny enough, I played Magic Arena and thought, oh, I thought I was playing Hearthstone. <laughs> you, d it, They're similar, right? It boggled my mind. No, okay. but It's slippery boggled my mind. Shut up. <laughs> so seriously, yes. though. Yeah. Magic Arena, it feels to me yeah. as though Wizards wanted to kind of tap into Hearthstone's market. Mm -hmm. You know, Hearthstone is a very clean, polished, smooth online card game, mobile card game. Yeah, they do what they do very well. I mean, they're super successful. Um, some of the top streamers on Twitch are Hearthstone streamers, mm -hmm. um, and it rivals League of Legends as being the top play game in any one day. Uh, that all being said, <laughs> I feel as though mm. this is me using my mediator voice. <laughs> I feel as though Wizards could have reskinned or updated Magic the gathering online <laughs> instead of creating arena <laughs> because few reasons arena is just standard correct me if i'm wrong no they they you're correct uh in the announcement video if any of you watched it or tuned in it's on youtube right now you can watch it um it had gameplay from amiz and gabby sparts uh admittedly the gameplay looked great yeah looked it's a lot like hearthstone polished. Um, but you're a hundred percent correct. They said they're yes. focusing on standard at the moment. Um, I'd like to see the other formats if you're going to make an online, yeah. because you can play any format. Well, not any format with any cards, but you can play physically any format. So if they're trying to replace or draw some physical standard players into magic arena or, or anything like that, I feel like you'd, you'd attract a bigger player base if they could play their vintage there yeah i mean there. i think so and right? i guess one decision that might have uh influenced that i'll say is they don't they've said they don't want to replace magic online right and on there you can play vintage commander and uh, i get what that. have you so maybe they're maybe their thinking was you know you can't play everything this is just for standard so some people will still stay on magic but online. like so here's what i don't get what from like a business standpoint okay mm -hmm. i'm not a business owner really i mean we have this it's not a business we just do this for fun yes. um i've tried to start a business at one point so i know a little bit why would you split your market that way that's yeah. what i don't understand you've already got a loyal market you've already got like literally the best card game that's ever been made yeah like best tcg i'll say that can't be go fish really no that's true it's so simple and clean so um <laughs> made me think of kingdom hearts i way. was gonna make a utada <laughs> joke but i decided not to uh oh. all right let me get back to <laughs> we're like, for a second we're so off topic uh, all dearly the time. beloved uh i feel as though those were all kingdom hearts song names by the way <laughs> um yeah you have this loyal fan base that yeah. will stick around basically no matter what right yeah i mean the thing about magic is like yes it changes in the way of standard yeah. rotates things like that but it has formats that don't change really i mean they do yeah. they get more cards added to them but right, like right, right. they're still going to be the same formats they're not going to be changing dramatically on any time soon yeah and so you're going to have players who are going to stick to those formats they're going to always play it 
not to mention Commander, which has become way more popular than most of the other formats, right. is something that people stick to when they go to, and you can play that online. Why mm-hmm. can't you play that in Arena? And this new fancy, you know? Yeah. It's like, it's like Wizards gave you a Ferrari <laughs> that can only go to one place, <laughs> and also this, like, ugly, beat-up Honda Civic yeah. that you can take anywhere. <laughs> It's like your analogies never cease to amaze me. I appreciate that. Was that was a delight. But that's exactly no, what you're exactly feel, like. Right. It's it just feels weird to me. And yeah. like being a player who doesn't particularly enjoy standard the majority of the time, I don't particularly care for this current standard. I'm not saying it's bad. I just don't care to play it. Like it just isn't that exciting. Like Magic Arena now isn't tailored to me because I don't play standard. Right. Right. And, like, and that's the fan base that you will kind of you're uh, cutting out of it like right. it just feels really weird um i'm not saying it like it looks great it, it looks does. exactly it looks like hearthstone pretty. just with different cards um uh yeah i mean the angles are a little different um i mean i think it's a little more flashy honestly yeah definitely and is. that's and that was actually a complaint that a lot of people i was gonna have. say that's not necessarily to its like benefit yeah sometimes it can be too much the animations and the sound effects while cool like i think that's a good effect to mm-hmm. think about it seems a bit overdone um yeah. i'm assuming that in the settings somewhere in the game you can sort of turn those off and things so it won't necessarily be a yeah, problem probably. but you i think even that, probably turn off animation sprites too. yeah like, i'm sure you can, you can. Sure. um so i don't perceive that as like a huge problem yeah. i think it's good that they thought about those things and really put in that effort but mm-hmm. why not put that effort into just making it a better game like that like encompass more yeah i do think that part of the reason they didn't include especially older cards and older sets like vintage sets things like that that are played you know um part of which how do you market that how do you sell that on the game because you can't it's just a whole different thing it feels really weird to me that like so for instance if you were to print black lotus okay in magic arena yeah that seems like how do you limit the number of black lotuses that are going to be on there? How do you do that? Like, it seems a little weird to put that into a brand new game right off the bat. Because they put it into MTGO. Yeah. But it was, I I don't know. I don't, I don't know what I'm the, trying to say. I don't exactly, see the problem. I feel like that could have caused honest. some issues. But You're saying, how do you limit the supply that's out there? I guess so. Of black lotuses? Lotus I lotus, didn't fully lotus, think lotus, this lotus, through. Lotus freely admit um it's fine but i don't know it just seems a little weird it's a lot of cards that they have to print your argument is you don't it wouldn't make sense for them to oversaturate the market with these old cards yeah because they'd have to do it all at once i think maybe that's the best way to put it you're putting better words into my mouth i appreciate that hey i'm a a linguist linguistically gifted a good actor too i act like i enjoy (laughs) every single time (laughs) <laughs> um i had another point okay. oh it wasn't a point it was a joke i want the <laughs> freaking dual thing dual disc <laughs> yeah that's what i want for magic arena really heck yeah we'll just walk around the street <laughs> hey you play magic yeah Ching! <laughs> prove it <laughs> you've activated my trap card <laughs> you're in for it now <laughs> yeah i want a dual disc Get on that magic. Yeah, get on the Get on that wizards. I mean, while they're copying other games, you might as well. (laughs) (laughs) Shade. Uh, No, that was really rude. Whoa. I I mean, mean, it's not off base, though, is it? It's a comparison. And they had to know it was a comparison people would draw. Oh, good lord, yeah. Right. It's a completely different game. Still a better game than Hearthstone, I think. Yeah, I mean, personally. Mm -hmm. I think that's polarizing, but I do think personally i mean magic's just well, better, no, i right? mean they're two different games they're similar but here's the thing every card game that's been made after magic a trading card game has similarities to magic is compared to magic yeah and is like birthed from magic that's fair in some aspect yeah so hearthstone has got the uh it's mana system right yeah you just get a new one every turn it's the crystal right 10 system the, it's like it the energy or whatever like you never miss a quote land drop in hearthstone which i think is neat but it's simplified yeah right and i think that's why hearthstone is very like marketable because it's sort of it's marketed as a simplified 
magic. Maybe not I like mean, not in, by Hearthstone, but yeah, like, by but Hearthstone like, players. By Hearthstone like. players, I think that definitely is true. Like it a hundred percent felt like when I played it, which was for a short time, but when it first came out. But like right. when I played it, it felt like a simplified magic, which isn't a bad thing. That's not a hit not towards Hearthstone no. or anything like that. I think that's great. Um, and I think it makes it easier for new players to get into it because it is a little bit more simplified. Yeah, it is easy. Um, but, you know, Magic is its own game. It was the original game for this sort of thing. And so yeah. I think it's good to see this mm -hmm. in a newer platform mm -hmm. like the Hearthstone quote unquote platform. Sure. Because it sort of makes it more visually pleasing, which MTGO definitely lacks. Yeah, MTGO so looks real bad. And kind of just is bad. But. It looks like original Land of War Elves art. <laughs> that bad. Ooh. Yeah. A hit to that artist. Um, no, yeah. You it's... drew an ugly elf. <laughs> he was not cute. He was not. Or she. I don't know. We don't know. I mean, that's fine. If that's what you were going for. <laughs> you made an ugly elf. Um, but yeah. Alex, if so... you could put that on the screen so everybody could see the OG. I'm talking like where he's got like the purple things in his head and he's like, I don't know. Sorry. I feel. You're just digging deep with this. I can't this. get that out of my head. It's, it's good. Um, There's some misses. But There's yeah. Misses. So, well, yeah, of course. But <laughs> anyway, yeah. So part of me is excited for Magic Arena mm. on the end that it does look good. I think it'll be great for streaming because it is visually pleasing now. And for True. you standard players out there, it's a good way for you to play in a visually ple a pleasing way, but also, you know, anytime, anywhere sort of a thing, as long as you have access to a computer. Right. Um, so yeah. I think it's good for that. That's another thing I had a question about. Do you know if it is just on a computer or will it be mobile as um, well? So I know to start, they're doing it on PC. They have plans to do it on mobile and tablets and things like that. I don't know if it's been confirmed that they're doing that right away. Correct me if I'm wrong, if any of you guys know right away. Uh, OSX still being left out as it as it seems um <laughs> why has it always got to be that way what's that mac oh <laughs> you should have said mac <laughs> you talk about leopard osx leopard that thing osx is just operating system anyway i thought it was i mean leopard. leopard is an operating system but i thought that was the one in apple that was leopard that was an older one. Oh. they had leopard snow leopard when I made my hack in Tosh, it was Leopard. I'll say that. That was quite a while ago, I'm assuming. High school. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not for every platform that I know of, at least. I think that would have been the wise move. Yeah, I don't Update get... Magic Online. Make it a mobile game now. And make it on Mac. I'm a Mac guy. Sorry if that bothers you. I don't it's really... Fine. It's not like I'm trying to be elitist about it, because I know a lot of people get that way. But they like, can. I just like Mac better. It's not that I hate PC. I just like Mac better. Hey, Kevin, this ain't a show about computers. No, I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a nerd. I do this. I work on computers for a living. He does. Um, He do. But it just like include us. That's all I'm saying. I see what you're saying. I had to dual boot my Mac and like boot camp it so I could have Windows on it just so I could play MTGO. And that which, is an issue. Which I is annoying. feel like there are things you can do to make an already existing thing better. You don't need a new thing. Yeah. Just saying. I agree. You, we it, went on way longer than we intended I mean, about I, this, but I, feel, I think it's an important topic. I feel about it. We'll learn more yeah. um, as the beta starts and people start streaming the beta and playing it. Yep. All that stuff. Maybe there's news that'll come out that it, it's more expansive than I think somehow. Yeah. Um, I don't know yet. Uh, there is an hour-long introduction um on their website mm -hmm. wizard's website that is where you can sign up for the closed beta test yeah. it out as well so, which i've done actually i've signed up for it at uh, least i don't, I don't think have, i'm gonna get it but i don't have time so that makes sense <laughs> so i can't do it um uh, but i mean we'll learn more later and yeah. maybe our my opinion will change but right now i feel as though it is unnecessary but pretty yeah um <laughs> and as you mentioned as new things come out about this we'll update you guys as best we can uh yeah. in these weekly episodes we may even, if it gets to the point where there's something huge that comes out, we may release just a short little 10 minute video about it yeah. or do something like that. A blurb. But yeah. Um, but yeah, that's it for Magic Arena. We just want to get that info out there um, because it is a big topic right now. Yeah. Um, and it's something I'm excited for, but again. Are you though? Yes and no. I, w I, would, I will play it. I mean, I don't think there's a question that I will or not, but it's like, 
it just could be so much better. They could have done so many more important things. Here's why like. I'm not gonna play it. Okay. Magic Online. <laughs> One. Two. I'd just rather play it in F and M or something. That's fair. Like, I've already got Magic Online. Yeah. I'll just play that. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I know. I get you. Um, <sighs> we need to move on. on. Yes, because we definitely rambled about that. Iconic Masters is Ooh! being spoiled. Boy, um, this set is nice. We're still like two months out from the actual release, yeah. but we got a first look at it. I've This is like the first time I've hit the mic. Episode 60, it happened. Um, <laughs> we got our first look at it as some initial drafts were going on yeah. uh, this past week. And so we got a lot of the cards spoiled. Um, yeah, were, weren't there supposed to be no spoilers? Yeah, the and there technically were no spoilers. It was just people played it, took pictures of the cards, and they posted them. And then so they got, yeah, it was like Magic didn't release spoilers for this by any means. But So this is confirmed. Yeah, these are confirmed. People okay. have played with these cards. They actually did a draft with them, and that's how we found out about these Who cards. Who are these people? That's uh, these it was cards. at like a GP or something. I don't know the event right Y'all off. Suck. But, Dang. Yeah. I'm jealous because Thanks, wizard. Holy Le- crap. Letting me play this game that no one else has played yet. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, wizard. Here are your cards, Beck. <laughs> I think they got to keep them too. Um, okay. Bro. So here's the deal. The question we want to ask is um, is iconic masters actually iconic? Does it really fit that mold of being iconic? Um, before yeah. we get into that though. I do want to mention the value in this set. Holy crap. Primo. That's um, some nice cheddar right there. Yeah. So that is uh, the think... cheese stands alone in this one, Kevin. <laughs> oh, that was so good. Um, yeah. So yeah. the value is insane. At the mythic rarity, we get things like mana drain. Um, all of the Praetors, the whole cycle, mm-hmm. Elishorn included, Jenga Taxius, Shieldred, um, or Sherlob. As we said the last episode. Oh, dude, yeah, I forgot. Um, I forgot about Sherlob. Sherlob. Um, uh, things like Consecrated Sphinx, Archangel of Thune, mm. uh, Primeval Titan, Primetime. Yeah, hey, yeah. Um, Do you think that means the other Titans will be here? No, I don't think so. Boo. No, I'm actually okay with Shame that. Shame on you. Because um, that makes it actually iconic. I just threw my pen a little bit. I mean, it's the best Titan, but Grave Titan's so good. I mean, Grave Titan's great, but it also... It's so good. At the... <laughs> It is. It's so good. It's very good. So good. So good. Dun, dun. Use your levels. Oh, you so didn't good. do it. You didn't go with it. I'm a little mad. Um. Oh, that's a song. It is a little bit. Ow! <laughs> it is a song. Okay. Sorry. At the rare level, all of the uh, Kamigawa dragons, mm-hmm. the whole cycle has gotten new art, which is fantastic. Um, we also get things like Genesis Wave, which I think is iconic. Lord of the Pit, which is pretty sweet. Yeah. Uh, Resto Angel, Ancestral Vision. Um, Teferi, Cryptic Command, Thought Seas, Lotus Cobra, Flusterstorm. Um, <laughs> what was that, Kevin? Flusterstorm ah, is the card. I uh, see. Which, if you don't know, is like 100 bucks right now. It might be a little under that, but Fluster you get Storm what I'm saying. Flusterstorm is nice. Swords, too. Not yeah. huge value in swords, but still. Swords, it's it's going to be a good set. Um, oh, yeah. There's Dude, this no set doubt about the value. Delicious. But that's not what we're here to answer. No, 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 no. Is it a good set? I mean, 100% yes. going to be fun to play. If anybody argues that this set is bad or that it has no value... You were just wrong. I'm sorry. Yeah. You're wrong. <laughs> well, it might not be a fun set to play. We don't know. I don't. Know. I think it might be. Um, <laughs> probably. But I'm I, just saying, you don't I know mean, until you know, until you play. Fair enough. Right. So um, put that on the back burner for a yeah. second, though. Is it iconic? Well, uh, no, <laughs> no, 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 not really. Um, okay. It it's it suffers. Um. Maybe a little bit of misidentity, I would say. I would say a few it was... of the cards do not make sense. Yes, um, that's that's my first point. Yeah, uh, a few of the cards probably could have had more iconic and better options. Mm-hmm. Um, before the show, we were just talking a little more about the spoilers, and we got on aerial predation. It's a really bad common two or one color. No, no, two no, and two and one a green. green. 
Uh, destroy target <clears throat> creature with flying, gain two life. Kevin said, that's not iconic. It's like, what do you mean? It's like in every core set. No, it's not. No, it was only printed in Return to Ravnica. Tell me what's iconic about that. <laughs> Nothing. <clears throat> Why not print Plummet? And I meant, yeah. like, <clears throat> some of you may be saying right off the bat, we're nitpicking. Sure, whatever. But they've labeled this and marketed it as an as an iconic set. True. Uh, it just seems like there were some better options. Now, yeah. with that being said, speaking specifically about the mythic and the rare slots, overall, again, there's a few hit or miss things, but overall, I would say those slots are pretty iconic, right? Yeah, like, I there's so. not too much that speaks out to me as being like, well, why do you include this? Like, I get that there's going to be some bulk rares, there's yeah. going to be some mythics that aren't necessarily hugely valuable, right? right but they're right. still iconic. Like, Necropotence is a mythic. It's not super valuable. It's like a few bucks. It's nothing crazy, but it's a very good mythic rare. Yeah, I'm absolutely. fine with that. I think it makes a lot of sense. On the other end, you get things like Mana Drain, which super valuable, super iconic. Like, there's no doubt about that. Um, Primo, it's just a great card. Primo. Yeah. Um, the Praetors, I think the whole cycle is iconic enough that I like it. I think, obviously, Elishnorn sticks out as the biggest one with Shieldred probably coming up as the second, and then Jenga Taxius maybe coming up as the third. Um, Who is Shieldred? Uh, the Whisper? Sherlob? Oh, you Sherlob. Sherlob. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, uh, Consecrated Sphinx, Obnixilus is in here as mm -hmm. a mythic. Again, you know, Obnixilus isn't like super valuable, but it makes sense. It's a good lore card. I'm right. fine with that. Good in Demon Tribal, which they're kind of going for. Yeah, Demon. Uh, they did stick with the tribal theme that they promised yeah. us. Dragons are huge. Demons are huge. Angels, Angels. are huge. Yeah. Um, sphinxes are sort of a thing. It's like they've got a lot of, you know, sort of smaller tribal hit mm -hmm. themes and things like that. But definitely dragons, definitely demons, things like that are in here. Yeah. Um, I think the Kamigawa dragons... 100% awesome. definitely iconic. I think, you know, may not be the most valuable cards in the world, but they're definitely worthwhile as putting in an iconic set. Yeah. Um, I mean, so. there, there are cycles that players received very, very well. Yeah. That players loved. Absolutely. Uh, the Praetors, like you mentioned, the Kamigawa Dragons, these are cards that we got excited for. Yep. That we liked to play with. They haven't seen really any play again, I guess, except for in Commander uh yeah and then in like cubes and like fringe stuff well but, sure like, but i mean no no competitive play but no, that being really. said though they're like well loved cards yeah and they're um, great and limited which mm -hmm. this set is obviously designed for sure um as <clears> most <throat> of these sort of masters sets i think all of them are actually designed as limited formats you think at, so? at the heart yeah yeah definitely um so makes sense i like them as an include um a restoration angel lord of the yeah. pit things like that genesis wave all yeah. great includes however from there, <laughs> we right. sort of get into some cards, and I'm going to start at the rare slot, um, just to give a few examples of cards that I don't necessarily think would be iconic. Um, and the best one that I can think of in the rare slot that really stuck out to me as being like not necessarily something that should be in here because there's a different option, Supreme Verdict. Great card. Fantastic Great card. card. Played in modern still. Played in modern, and some people I think would argue that this is iconic because it's played in modern. However... If you're really going for Iconic, why would you not print Wrath of God? Yeah. I know that the value isn't there for Wrath of God, so any like collectors out there may be like, oh, you know, whatever. But it's 100% way more Iconic. Like, there's no doubt about it that. It really is. Um, it just, yeah, it doesn't really feel all that special to me. I mean, I'm glad that it's in here because I like it, but like, yeah, not so, Iconic. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't think so either. Um, um, Supreme Verdict is not that old. For no, one, not at all. Uh, compared Art to Art. wrath, compared to damnation, <laughs> yeah. So I, I would agree with you on that one. Um, other ones, anger of the gods is another sweeper that I is definitely played, but I don't necessarily think it's iconic either. Like I, now that's the one I kind of take pause at in that it was kind of the first of its kind. In was it though? Well, yeah, in terms of a red sweeper that deals base damage, pyroclasm, and like wow, but that was an X spell. No, right? it wasn't. Isn't Pyroclasm two. deals two damage to everything? Oh yeah. That's I mean it's not a rare, but like it's a red right. sweeper. <laughs> but and is, I mean this is a mass lightning bolt though. By the way, where's Bolt? Yeah, where's Bolt? Explain that one. These aren't all the spoilers though. Mm -mm. To be fair, this is not we the entire. Still are like set. missing a hundred cards or something like that. Yeah. So there's plenty of room not, for Bolt. It's not everything. Growth. Sure. 
ancestral vision ancestral vision is in there america <laughs> it's on the the reserve list or whatever yeah but they can do that right they're not gonna no, do that gonna do I'm just um, kidding. i did check uh, by the way because when i saw mandarin i was like that's definitely on the list it's not on the list hmm. i was just wrong so my bad that's um fine. obstinate bailoff i get however thrag tusk <laughs> yeah i i mean i get thrag tusk just had a reprint 100% understand why they would print this over it, but Thrag Tusk is way more iconic, right? Absolutely like, I mean, come is. on. Yeah. And, and with mean, Resto Angel in the set, like... Yes. Gah. I mean, it works with Bayloth too, I get it, but like, come on. It's not as good, though. It's not as good. Thrag Tusk is the best. You love Thrag Tusk. Thrag Daddy. I mean, everyone loves Thrag Tusk, mm -hmm. I think. Um, okay. I had a point. What was your that point? I was gonna say. Now I don't remember what it was. That's good. Um, oh, go through some more of the cards. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Go through some more of the cards. Do you want me to go through card. rares or... Yeah, finish up the rares. Okay, finish out rares. Rune Scar Demon. Doesn't feel iconic to me. Not really. Uh, Hoarding Dragon. One of my That's favorite That's uncommon demons, now, but... I believe. Uh, Decree of Pain. That's like a commander card more than yeah. it's Yeah. I mean, I get that they're playing towards commander people. That's fine. I'm not saying we should leave you guys out, but I'm just saying, like, iconic. Like with this set, I don't know that they are necessarily. Well, but there's there's always gonna be a few cards that they're like, here, have a you know, that's they have a do weird that. clone army. <laughs> um, uh, let's see, He's Sphinx of the Thune. Yeah, that one, like. Who is actually cast Sphinx of Uthun? In limited, sure. Other than that, and I get that this is for limited, but how is that actually iconic? I mean, yeah, come on. I don't know. Abyssal Protector. Yeah. Persecutor, not Protector. Is it Persecutor? Yeah. I just, love that card, though. I mean, it's a cool card. 6-6 six, six for 4, can't win. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to swing till I can kill you. <laughs> I don't know. It just... Some of these cards just seem a little off to me. Yeah, Hero's Bane is mine. Um, Hero's Bane? Yeah. Oh, oh the yeah. The Hydra from... Uh, that's uncommon, though. That's kind of cool. I like I mean, that. But... Also, it sh we should mention, um, a lot of the cards have been downshifted in rarity. Hmm. Um, Popper just had, like, a field day, by the way. Yeah, um, Holy crap, Seeker Popper. Seeker of the way. Day. Yeah, blood. Jace's Phantasm. Yeah um there was a few others that i don't remember right off dissolve. but a lot of dissolve um a lot of rares got shifted down to uncommon as well um we've get we've gotten some legendary uncommon creatures which i think is pretty cool hmm. um really yeah we did let don't me, they stop let's see uh blade wing uh there was another one that i wanted to point out wow where is it i don't remember what it is off hand but i know there was another one that was also uh in that same boat. Oh, no. um i thought it was a multicolor card but i guess i'm wrong hmm. um i like that lightning helix is in it though lightning helix and electrolyze are both in it at the uncommon slot perfect includes definitely iconic uh definitely playable and definitely a card that you'd want to open right like in Absolutely. that uncommon slot it adds some value uh electrolyze definitely isn't as expensive as like lightning helix but it's still a great open like if you get yeah, electrolyze you're not going to be unhappy about that um so moving to the uncommon slot this is where it starts to really hit me as like okay maybe we're not so iconic uh anymore sure um let's see what's a good example fireball's uncommon now yeah which is definitely 100 percent iconic channel fireball is in this so if you get that combo you can just win um assault formation downshifted from rare not iconic it's just not it was very recently printed and it in, isn't that in good. Khan's block, right? I think so. Uh, Dragons of Tarkir, I believe. Which I get. Dragons are a big thing in this. I get it fills that limited archetype, but it's like, it's just not. I don't know. It just doesn't really do it for me. Uh, let's see. Uh, Is that Ca one? Caravan Caryated? I'm not sure about I honestly that one. don't know what set that's from. Yeah, I'm not sure either, so I don't want to claim that one. How do you feel about the festering newt, which is I but... I think it's kind of a funny include. 
I think it's awesome. I like it because it's definitely like a card that if you're introed into magic during the time of this card, a lot of people know about it. I mean, it's a great comment. It's silly, but it's a great comment. Yeah, it's so... Um, so I'm fine with that. I think that makes sense. Uh, Topin Freeblade is a great limited card. However, I don't know that I'd call it uncommon or uh, iconic, excuse me. Um, I think in Origins, it definitely could be considered that. So it's a little on the fence for me. But again, it's not, it's not insane. Abzan Falconer. I don't know. Doesn't really do it for me. <laughs> yeah, like um, you could have you could have printed um what's that card? Is it Assault Griffin who's got the same stats? I don't uh, know. But then you don't maybe. get but then you don't get that. You don't get the ability. outlast and stuff like that. And but I like, get it's for limited, but it just doesn't feel iconic. Like it just seems like there are some better choices out there. And I don't know right. every choice specifically, so I'm not gonna pretend like I do, but it just feels like some of these cards were thrown in for the limited environment, which is great, and then not really considered iconic at all. Um, and again, there are some on the common rarity. Kiln Fiend, Duress, Sarah Angel is an uncommon. Uh, again, Jace's Phantasm, downshifted to common, all seem great to me. Mm -hmm. It's just some of them, uh, the yeah. majority of them but really don't. But then you've don't. got right there, Sultai Flare, yeah. Doorkeeper from R to R. For some reason. Why is Doorkeeper in there? Come on, people. I It's for, I'm assuming, the mill deck, because there will be a mill deck. Yeah. Um, I mean, Phantasm's there. Phantasm's there. there. Glimpse the Unthinkable, which is iconic, yeah. is in there. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's sort of like you start at Mythic, and you're like, wow, this is super iconic. I love these cards. You know, you get Mana Drain, Necropotence, mm -hmm. Channel, all these great cards. You move down to Rare, and you get all the Praetors. You get prime time you know all these great cards ancestral cryptic vision yeah, yeah. cryptic and you're like okay cool and then you hit a few that are like eh, maybe not but that's fine there's it's not going to be a perfect set and then you get to uncommon and you start really having to look for the well, iconic cards i think yes but i would say i think the majority of the spoilers we have now are iconic enough right do you think so i do i mean i don't like tormenting voice you could have printed um that i would say is iconic because that actually has been printed in like a million sets oh i thought um the one from innistrad came first the faithless looting uh faithless faithless looting is definitely more iconic in my opinion so i would consider putting that in before it but tormenting voice is okay for me just because mm. it has been printed so much and it's like oh it has been yeah yeah it's okay. i don't know it's just well the, i'll segue into my other topic then talking yeah. about tormenting voice it's the art from cons which is great art yeah but that's my other argument there's new art for some of these cards resto which, angel has yeah. new art well it's promo art isn't it or was it is it brand new i art? think it's just new art i didn't see any promo on it um well no no i'm saying there was an old promo of resto angel which might have had that art um i could be wrong on that but no, i haven't seen it before i just thought it was new um the dragons have new art um which i'm not unhappy about because the art is great no it is it's gorgeous it would be more iconic to have original art i feel like channel and... has new art fireball's got its other art yeah um i don't know necropotence could have had the original art which would have been pretty cool mana drain could have had original art um it just seems like a few missed opportunities to really make it feel ancestral vision sarah ascendant it mm -hmm. they there's another one cryptic is new cryptic is new um they could have gone with original swords to plow shares yeah and like i know that that kind of makes the set feel a bit disjointed because you get new Manly. and old cards and things like that but at the same time it's about seeing cards from all different spans of magic sort of thrust together as this iconic set and so right. why not do that it just feels really cool that or it would feel really cool to be able to open up an original art, although albeit new card frame, you know, wall of roots or something, you know, like yeah, the wall of roots art is new as well. Maybe yeah, it just I don't know, original duress would have been pretty cool. Yeah, that would have been um, I, it just feels like they could have done some more to make it feel more iconic. I'm not saying it's a bad set. I'm just saying it could have felt more yeah, iconic. Original well, condescend different. would have been good. Um. And then Corpse Jack Menace is in there for some reason. Yeah, I mean, come on. That's not iconic. <laughs> I mean... It isn't an uncommon, but still. I mean, cool, but it doesn't really make it iconic, you know? No. 
Um, I don't know. Mindstone is in, which I'm I gonna, agree with. Some of these I'm really weird about, but I will concede that I'm going to wait to hold my opinion until all the spoilers are out there. And I think that's fair. Because there's not like there's not enough yet. Yeah. Like that's for fair. me to really cast my judgment. Um and even so, it's gonna be a fun set. There's yeah, chase no matter cards. what, this set is gonna be awesome. Yeah. I mean I still think original Modern Masters is better, I think. I think so far I would agree, albeit there are some insane cards in this set. Um Mana Drain being probably the biggest, but like they put Horizon Canopy, which is like a hundred dollar card right yeah. now in it. Grove of the Burn Willows, which is a forty dollar card and played in Legacy. Um, they put Ancestral Vision, which was recent, semi recently unbanned in Modern, which gave it a price spike. True. Um, Elish Norn, which is a solid twenty dollar card. You know, it's they've got a lot of value in the set, which I think makes it that great. Is true. Um, at the rare slot, especially, tons of value the mythic slot definitely a lot of value the uncommon slot it's got some good stuff right it's not insane like original modern masters i would say right but it's pretty good lightning helix is in it electrolyzed stuff like that um and then a lot of downshifted rares which i think may not add value but it's just kind of interesting that i think they did that yeah i mean there's um, their bulk rares at mm-hmm. uncommon which is fine i guess i think that's great I, um, it makes sense yeah. to me um the common slot uh, it doesn't really have that much value in it that I know. No, of. but when does it? I ever, mean, like, more original than... Modern Masters, Lava Spike was in it. Uh, Street Wraith is in it. Uh, I do want to mention an uncommon Mishra's Bobble is. In oh this yeah, set. that's another. It's one. like a forty dollar card right now for just. I mean, I get it's played. It's up there for good reason, but like, yeah, come absolutely. on, absolutely forty dollars for that. I mean, <laughs> like, I mean, hey, prison. It was prison only printed bobble. like once, so it makes sense, but. God, I'm hoping that that dips the price down a lot. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, I think it will, but I don't know how much. I am reserving until I see the rest of the set. That's what Fair I'm enough. Say. Um, there are definitely some weird choices, but yeah. Um, like I don't. It doesn't matter that much to me. It it is annoying. I'll say that it is like so it ir- could have done more. That's all. Yeah, it kind of irks me. Um, yeah. I want to see some different cards in there uh i'm not gonna say better cards but like kitchen things i'd love to see in this set that would be so nice um vanillion oh. click love to see in the set yeah um and those to me feel more iconic i you hear those better names blossom would be good better blossom but you hear these card names at tournaments still and you heard them when they were first printed and they yeah. just haven't left like they kitchen things has wound itself to modern like yeah modern without kitchen finks is gonna be very strange yeah so um thinking about cards like that that have that kind of impact mm-hmm. i think make way more sense for an iconic set I think so, so i was it's just kind of disappointing right now but i'm still like not worried not casting too much judgment sure i i want to see more okay this is a first it's a rough draft and they just haven't won me yet <laughs> right um i'm not i'm not on board with this article yet <laughs> that's fair revise I mean, it come back to me to me i'm sold on the value i'm sold oh, on yeah, that it well, will that's... be a good set to play i don't think i mean i think it'll be a good set to play for sure just personal opinion um whether it's iconic it doesn't feel like it to me as of right now and again we don't have basically 100 cards out of the full list so when we see those other 100 right. cards i'm sure we'll be able to form a more you know refined uh position on it yeah. but as of right now and where's the infect stuff i just thought about that infect is iconic it is iconic um and in fact they did print sort of it's not an infect card by any means um but they printed a dragon storm card that was also good for the infect deck but it's not perfect so we'll we'll go over that one later because gotcha, um, you lost me <laughs> that's okay i don't know um, what you're talking about yeah but i mean there are things that i feel like are kind of missing yeah and they printed fluster storm and no storm cards so far <laughs> so that we've seen i don't think they cards. will i they're not gonna print storm so then what's fluster storm doing in there man fluster storm's an iconic card without being a storm deck yeah but it just because it's played in legacy like everywhere because it's but just you've good got, against storm <laughs> and you've got the question of are you printing this card for the set or for its iconic status? And that's where, like, you don't want to do Ideally, you much. want a balance. Exactly. Right? You, you want a much. good card that also is iconic. So print, like, I don't know. Uh, empty the Warrens. <laughs> nope, don't print Dredge. 
Um, grape shot. They yeah, should put grape, grape shot. I mean, you're grape not gonna... shot has won tournament games for people. Grape shot actually won a like someone's spot into his first top eight. Uh, was it Jerry Thompson? I'm thinking of. I don't know. I don't remember. But like for me, when I was I heard about iconic masters. Thought about iconic cards. Lightning Helix is one that came to mind. Yeah. Because of the top deck in like ninety eight yeah. or, nine, oh, or early two thousands, whenever, when he just flipped the top card and it was if he got a burn spell he won. Yeah. It was Lightning Helix. Like speaking see, to that point, the hideaway lands. Uh, oh, there were true. some really crazy wins with the hideaway lands, which I think yeah. would have been good. Um, again, not hugely valuable, but just really good cards yeah. for an iconic set. Were the Invitational winner cards? No Snapcaster Mage. No. No Meddling Mage. Meddling Mage is what I was thinking of. No uh, Confidant. No Confidant. Yet. Dark Confidant would have been awesome. Yeah, and maybe... Stoneforge. Where's Stoneforge Mystic? Maybe it's the it's a problem of we don't want to make this set too good because like all those cards in it. I mean, they're insane, right? Like, yeah. And there's a lot of value already in this set, mm -hmm. so to add tons more would be bad marketing bad uh financial business on their end but like i mean i disagree with that in that they're not losing money printing those things because you don't buy like a snapcaster mage from wizard's website i mean right? that's fair but you're also you i think by doing that you, you would do ruin the second cars. hand market and wizards has to consider the second hand market but if we talk about the latest um uh eternal set that was printed yeah was it eternal masters or modern masters 2 or whatever with i mean the they just they did printed. modern masters 3 that one was the latest that had lily in it right and yeah like, but Caster. like that's not gonna dip the value too much well that's my thing is very few cards took that much of a hit right a lot yeah. of people are expecting a lot more and it's like 10 bucks here on an 80 dollar card mm -hmm. that's a hit sure but like it's, it's not like you're 30 40 you're not getting hosed completely yeah like the value is still there mm -hmm. i don't know I mean, I agree to an extent. It's they could have done so much. That's all yeah. I'm saying. I'm not like this hugely is, disappointed. This I is just... one of those times when I feel like, and this is not because they printed some weird cards and changed the art. Yeah. But this is one of those times where I feel like it's need a little more money. <laughs> Gonna a really good set, but not too good. <laughs> it, it seems a little. I don't know. Yeah, it's, I know what you mean. That being said, I do think uh, if you buy into this set, you're not going to be hurting to get your money back huh, on it. Huh, you open a pack, know. most of the rare, not all, but a large portion of the rares will at least make you your money back. Um, yeah. That's and then a very true. select few of them, like Horizon Canopy, while it's 100 bucks now, it's not going to be when this set print, or when it's actually released, but it's still going to be, you know, an expensive card you're still gonna make yeah. plenty of your money back grove of the burn willows same 70, way 80 bucks probably um Something it's like that. they're gonna be cards that you know you open and you're gonna be like okay i just paid for my pack and then some you know what i mean Absolutely. and that's gonna feel great it's gonna be a lot of the time when you open this set mm -hmm. not all of the time always um you need to consider that because buying a single pack and expecting to get your money back is not what you should do no especially um, not with what are these like eight dollar packs I think they're 10. 10? I think most of the Masters sets usually... I mean, even so, 10. that's fine. That makes yeah, sense. I mean, I think that, that price point makes sense. Yeah. But just things to think about. Um, and this sort of segues into our question of the week. Um, the, the question we want to ask you guys this week is, what do you think? Do you think this set is iconic enough uh, to be labeled as iconic Masters? Do you really think it is? Um, it's just a yes or no thing. We'll post it on our Instagram. It yeah. should be already up. Well, I'd like um, answering why. Um, or are you like me and you're just kind of waiting for the rest of it? That's fine too. Yeah. What if do you you're, think now? If you're in limbo, that's fine. Um, but let us know. Uh, comment on it. With that being said, that does segue into our last question of the week, huh. uh, which we finished up our, the colors. our color wheel, which was in completely the wrong order. Um, <laughs> wrong order. Well... There's no yeah. wrong way to talk about magic cards, guys. Yeah, I like that. Um, the last one was, uh, what's your favorite red card? Um, and Parks, our resident streamer, uh, was the first one to comment with none. Parks does not like red. Parks hates red. It's hilarious. Which is very strange. It is a little strange, isn't it? Because I, I look at all the colors as doing different things. I don't yeah. dislike any of them. Mm. Uh, yeah. No, I don't. I don't dislike any of them. 
I will use them for different. They're my tools. I don't super enjoy green. You just don't like big stompy dudes doing big stompy dudes. I don't stuff. like big stompy dudes. I think yeah. not that it's a bad way to play. I just I'd rather do like storm. You just think it's or boring? Something. It is a little boring. And that's fine. Right? It's fine. To those you don't hate players green. who are like green can combo. Yes, it can. I'm not saying that's Tooth bad. Nail. Tooth and nail. But Channel. I'd just rather you know grape shot you to death or do something like that. It just seems more fun. Or put a million tokens out on the board. Yeah. Empty those warrens, dude. Empty all the warrens. Just everywhere. None. Parts um, is funny. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Next. Uh, Molten Rain was suggested. Lightning Bolt, Rain obviously. Is, yeah. Lightning Destroy Bolt's target lane. Okay. Uh, Goblin Sharpshooter, which I think is interesting. Oh, okay. Uh, Wheel of Fortune. <coughs> that yes. one is sweet. You are correct. Wheel of Fortune is very fun. Uh, Dr. Snapcaster good friend of ours said bolt snap bolt <laughs> will of fate uh imminent doom blood moon krinko heck yeah blood moon uh monastery swifts <laughs> might of old might of oaks excuse me uh said monastery swift spear is bay you know it's what's up she uh is bae. faithless looting card we talked about uh any chandra by he john crab oh uh, there's one bad Chandra, but there's a couple bad Chandras. Uh, there's two bad Chandras that I could think of. Is there? Yeah, I know there's at least like two or three. The like the newest one's probably the best one, right? Yeah, from Kaladesh. From Kaladesh, I yeah, think. Yeah, I think so. Um, that's far anyway. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Worldfire, heck yes. Uh, a braid, you must be standard playing. Nothing um, wrong with that, Kevin. Nothing wrong with that. I like a braid too. It's a great card. Braid's nice. Uh, grape shot. Heck yeah, you're my new favorite person. Uh, uh, lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. I think um, I'm gonna pull out my favorite card for you, Kev. So we can talk about it. Alex, our other resident streamer, uh, said possibility storm, which is awesome because I made that modern deck <laughs> and it was so bad, but it was really That's fun. So funny. Uh, Norin, yes. Pyroclasm. Heck yes. Uh, or Shivan Dragon. Shivan Dragon's classic. Why don't? Why isn't there Shivan Dragon in here? He'll be there. I guarantee it. If Shivan so? Dragon's not in it, boycott. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, is uh, this is my favorite red card, Kevin. Goblin game. <laughs> God, I know this card. Each player hides at least one object. Then all players reveal them <laughs> simultaneously. Each player loses life equal to the number of objects he or she revealed. The player who revealed the fewest objects then loses half his or her life. Rounded up. If two or more players are tied for fewest. Each loses half of his or her life, or rounded up. So that means I this man pick something up and I hide it. <laughs> We're playing magic now. <laughs> it's so cool, and it is not an uncard. It's not an unglue. No, no, no it's, it's not an unstable. What set was it? Do you know? Invasion? Conflux, maybe. Conflux? No, it's older than Conflux. Well, yeah, you're right, actually. Uh, plane. Sh oh, it's plane shift. So it wasn't actually oh, okay. like a. Man, that's cool. Um, well, right, in that in that avant garde. That was pretty awesome. Uh Grim Lava Mancer, Vexing Devil. Ooh, Grim's. Uh Grim's Goblin Grim's. Grenade, Goblin Games. Uh <laughs> <laughs> suggested by Nurse Yoshi. Nurse Yoshi, you are the best. Ball lightning. Um somebody put mountain. Technically, uh. it's not a red card, but we'll give it to you. I think on every one of these, somebody has commented on the land of that kind. Technically, it's colorless, but, you know, it's whatever. Um, it's so funny. Chandra Pyromaster, Shock, Winky Face. This is all from the same person, by the way. Shock, separate comment, winky, winky Face, separate comment, I mean Lightning Bolt. This is by H4 Heroic. All right. See, you win. Um, see what you should do there. <laughs> Seismic Assault, Fire Blast, uh, Lightning Bolt, Young Pyro, Any Chandra. I don't really get the Any Chandra. Chandra's great. Chandra's I mean, Chandra's fine, fine but it's just... Eh. She's a fun Planeswalker, man. Uh, <laughs> Luca Modern MTG said Joblin Jide. Um, <laughs> I like you. Yeah, you seem pretty cool. <laughs> you funny. <laughs> Joblin Jide. Um, and then Lightning Bolt definitely got the most because oh, yeah. Bolt it's like is, everywhere yeah. um it was on the artwork for Bolt the is post. iconic callback to an earlier segment if you if you do not remember <laughs> we talked about iconic masters weird right um yeah yes so thank you for all the uh, the the comments on that we ended up getting like 50 comments on that 
Um, it's fun. We've been doing, we've been getting a lot of support from you guys on those questions of the week, which we greatly on appreciate. Telegram. Yes, Telegram. 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 It. Um, I do want to also plug our website really quick before we get into the packs. This is sort of uns- this is separate from anything else. Um, I just posted like four days ago, maybe three days ago, because I can't count. Um, I posted a card spotlight on Thoughtseize. Yeah, Seas. I'm a little bummed. Because you wanted to do it, I was going to talk about Thoughtseize, yeah. Um, it's all right. I'm sorry, you're so, taking too long. I don't get around to writing articles. You really don't. I'm too busy, Kevin. You are too busy. I need sorry. you to not be busy. Um, yeah, well. So I, I started this card spotlight thing. Um, I encourage you guys to go read it, first of all. Hmm. But if you have any suggestions for a card that you would like spotlighted if you think there's in an article. If you think there's more to blank card. Yeah. Uh, comment them. Um, or go comment on the actual spotlight post. I will read yeah. all of the comments. So check it out. Uh, see what my thoughts were on Thoughtseize. Hmm. <laughs> um, it's an awesome card. I mean, uh, of course, it's amazing. Heck yeah. Uh, and I mentioned you play. in the. Or did you? Yeah, as oh. your favorite turn one play. Um, it is because it's one of the. And best. I found it. I thought about. it I was like, it's really hard to disagree with Will on this one. <laughs> yeah, it's one of the best. I always think, how can I disagree with you? That's fine. Initially, sure. because that's what makes this actually interesting. I'm frequently wrong. So. Yeah, but in that Not instance, here. that was Not really here. tough. Nothing feels better. That, very few things feel better than turn one thought seizing a person. Yeah, it's great. Um, it's pretty great. So, yes, uh, check that out. If you have any suggestions, let us know, because uh, I'd like to keep that going as, like, not necessarily a weekly thing, but just as often as possible sort of do one. Hmm. Um, hmm. It's a fun article for me to write. I enjoy doing those. Hmm. So, yeah. Good. Give me some suggestions. Go read, our, go read those um, Also, thank Maybe. you for all the support on the Cracker Packs that we've had on YouTube lately. We're oh. a few weeks into that. Um, Andrew Forrest... Huge shout out to you because you comment on literally everyone. You're the bomb, man. Um, I appreciate that. Uh, we also have a pack suggestion, which I like pre-recorded three weeks of the crack of packs, and yeah. there's three a week, so like I did tons of them in advance. So I'm a little ahead on it. So if it takes a, <laughs> a while little. for me to get to your pack suggestions, uh, which feel free to comment them. Um, yeah, that's why. Because I pre-record. We, he backlogged them. I like batch recorded like 12 and it was great. That's uh, four weeks. It was nice. I didn't have look to. That. I literally just have to. Look at that them. college math coming in clutch. Yeah, look at that. Um, Okay, final thing. Our we last finally segment. got here. Uh, First of all, these Cracker Packs are sponsored by Grand Slam yeah. Comics and Collectibles. Clamp's birthday was this past weekend. Happy birthday! So head over to the Facebook page or uh, their website and give a little shout out to Clamp as a happy birthday. Uh, we really appreciate all they do tell for them, us. Tell them those suckers in it resolve sent you. Yeah, um, they honestly have been going above and beyond on everything. Um, I, I, I just breezed through opening my pack. I got distracted. That's okay. I'm sorry. No, it happens. Um, I'm also finishing up mine now. Um, wow. Yes. Yeah, so we have goal cards. Mine is Frank Sanity, which I did not get um torment of hail fire is mine was mine (laughs) was yours that poor card yeah um i got imminent doom which is funny because somebody uh mentioned that on their favorite red card i got adorned pouncer i like this cat you got two rares yeah oh true that's the foil endless sands was my other one (laughs) yeah don't like that one (laughs) um (laughs) that's so bad and limited it's terrible at least i think it's just bad anyway but i might be wrong um yeah, i don't maybe not terrible um so limited i don't know i don't know if imminent doom is good and limited What's to he be do? honest so it enters the battlefield oh, with no, a doom not. counter on it I'll tell you no it's not all right any cool. anything that like stacks counters like that <laughs> no it's not um it deals direct damage though which is interesting but yeah i don't Whoop-de-doo. really do think... it's bad all right um, I think Tenacious Hunter is great. Uh, it's 4-4. Oh, yeah. It also can get Vigilance and Death Touch if you have a negative one, negative one counter on something. I also think uh, Striped River Winder is quite good, although maybe not first pick good. Um, anything else really that sticks out? Not really. Mm. Um, Unraveling Mummy is good, but meh. 
Um, farm to market is okay, but hey, uh, hey look at that. We both got one. Um, I like farm Tenacious to Hunter is going to be my pick because yeah. that's just super good. I think it's the best one there. Um, so I've really only got three picks: Burning Fist Minotaur, Adorned hey. Pouncer, or Torment of Venom. Um, I know what I think. I know what I'd pick. I think I have to go with the the Pouncer because it represents so much damage late game. Sure. Torment is awesome though. Like it's hard. To that would be like my second. I think a Dorm Pouncer is good enough that you'd first pick it, but Torment is insanely good and limited. Yeah, honestly, I'm, hmm. I kind of like the Torment better. <laughs> it's a really busted removal card. Yeah, um, super good. I am. I have to. Nah, I'm gonna have to pick Torment. Uh, Burning Fist Minotaur is one of the like primo Premier cards red, here. Uh, commons or uncommons. Excuse yeah, me. I think it's definitely probably. I don't know if it's the best red uncommon, but it's up there. It might be. It um, might be. It fuels discard engines. It has first strike, and it gets fire breathing. All good things for two. A measly two. Yep, I like it. Um, yeah. So probably torment. I really don't want to pass up on my kitty cat. Yeah, I understand. I think I must. Okay. Fair enough. Torment. It is removal is pretty good. You need that. <laughs> I didn't get an unsummon, so it's gonna be torment. <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah, I'm first pick unsummon. <laughs> no, you don't. And if I ever said you did, I was a liar. Don't listen to me. From past episodes, uh, I'm always correcting myself from past episodes. You really are. We're on episode sixty. You've probably done it sixty oh, times. Hey, there we go. Yeah, sixty episodes. Party. Look sixty at that. episodes down. Look at that. What are we gonna do on episode one hundred? Well, I assume we'll get there. We'll have a party. Can we? Can we invite? We we the need people? to do a hundred somethings. That's true. Hundred card- rip up a hundred unsummons. A <laughs> hundred random <laughs> cards. We'll talk about them. What? Okay. That was just the first I'm answer. down for that. All right. Sweet. Rate them on a scale from one to ten. <laughs> okay. All of them. That will be so much fun to watch. It won't be. It'll be terrible. We'll break it up in segments. Anyway, before this devolves into nonsensical banter. Because it hasn't already. It always does. We're going to get out of here. Yeah. Guys, thank you for hanging out with us. Thank you to Grand Slam for sponsoring, as always, the Kraken Pack. Uh, Go check out our links as well as their links in the description below. Mm. And we will see you on next week's episode, episode 61. I don't know what we're going to be talking about, but come hang out with us. It's probably going to be magical. Might be. Uh, With that, guys, we're going to get out of here. My name is Kevin. My name is Will. And this has been It Resolves. What's up with the fingers, man? The little... (laughs) If you keep that in, Alex, I will will murder you. That'd be really... That'd be really... That'd be really...